Hi kids! Hi! We're back! Yep. This is not your normal video. Hope you liked our duo videos because we're making another! We're making another one by wide request for many people. Today we have sort of a book... Now for something completely different. Mm -hmm. A book review, but mostly discussion on two books that we've already each reviewed, re reviewed and we traded mm -hmm. and one of us has read the other one. So that would be... Uh, the Fault in Our Stars. And Anna and the French Kiss. So, yes, we've traded. I've already read Anna and the French Kiss, and she's already read The Fault in Our Stars, and we just switched. So now there we're going to kind of, you know, share our thoughts on them. Leslie's extremely protective of this book, as you might have known from the other video, and um, I threatened to lick it. And she doesn't know if I actually did or not. I might have defaced the book by licking it at some point. But she'll never know. I hate you. <laughs> since you all already know what this is about, and if you don't, you can check out Beck's review. Uh, this was a very good book for me. Uh, it was very romantical and long-winded story that just took forever, and it was just dragging to get to the main point, and I was like, ah, this should have happened a long time ago. In other words, you wanted the main characters to get together. You, ah, <laughs> see, that's my problem. The thing that I liked, you can't see the book, the thing <laughs> that I liked the most about this book was the fact that Stephanie Perkins made me want to like these characters. She made me want to believe in them, and I wanted them to be together, which really is the key in any kind of romantic novel and this was a good one. I had a few issues. I felt the only two characters that really got developed were Anna and Etienne and I wanted to know more about Rashmi. I wanted to know more about uh, Josh and I wanted to know I really wanted to know more about Meredith and I feel like if I feel like the whole plot surrounding them and how they felt about Anna obviously the story is from Anna's point of view but I felt if they had had more of a background and more of an input into the book and we had known more about them, it would have been a little easier to understand what was going on. <laughs> I mean, well, do you, do you think so? I don't know. I thought they were all pretty well developed, personally. Seriously? Like, in terms of the kind of book that it is, it's not a huge... It's not Game of Thrones where you have 800 pages to develop these characters. It's one shot kind of story. And, yeah, I agree. Etienne and Anna were definitely the most developed, mm -hmm. but I still definitely got, like, the personalities of Josh, Rajimi, and, Mer and uh, Meredith. I just Whatever wonder, like, why does Rashmi do the things she do and say the things she says? She, there's this whole kind of, like, mysteriousness to her that I never understood. It's part of the lore of the character. Well, then I feel like there should be another one so I can understand. Favorite part. <sighs> yes, because turning to a random page is really going to give you the answer. I really liked when she went home for Christmas. Or they just went home at some point. And she and Etienne really got to talking over, um email and stuff, and I like the fact that Stephanie Perkins included those emails in the book, which I thought was really fun. They just seemed to get closer even though they were further away. What is it? Absence makes the heart grow fonder or something? Yeah, yeah. Not always true, but it works well in this case. Yeah, it did. It worked, it worked very well here. Although I also like Thanksgiving where they were just, you know, like the running two of about them, the city. Yeah, and being all flirtatious and whatnot. That was probably my favorite part in terms of their relationship because it's like, that's sort of, I think a lot of people can relate to that sort of level of the relationship where you're like flirty with each other, but you don't know if it's going to go any farther. Yeah. But you kind of like what's going on at that point, so you just, you just kind of go with it. Yeah, I and think. it's one of those interim periods where you know it's gonna come to an end, but right now nothing is really it, the same yeah. as it was. I I did I did really like it. I don't know why it sort of pains me a little to say that I really liked it. Yeah, because it's it sounds like a dorky book. Yeah, you look at it, it's Anna and the French Kiss. Like also, everybody. this is this is not what I envisioned her looking like. I envisioned her being a lot prettier than this. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Ouch. I like how they did just put his hand Yeah, right? that's a you very just, man- That's, that's a, a very manly They can't manly see arm. it in the camera. That's, a, that's very, a very, like, manly hand right there. Yeah. Well, she talks yeah. all about that, too. She talks about how Dave has little boy hands and Etienne does not. So apparently, Stephanie Perkins has a thing for guys with manly hands. Stephanie that's what Perkins I got from that. also has blue hair. Yeah, she looks like a cool person. She looks like she's got some cool stories. And we can get swept away with the companion novel. Swept away. Swept away. The Gross. fault in our stars. Okay, I'm just gonna get this. This confession just needs, you know, get on the table. Um, I cried. I have never yes! cried reading a book in my entire life. Not even at the end of Harry Potter 7. And I cried in this book. There was times where I had tears in my eyes, and then 
around Augustus's funeral, I think that's when I actually had, you know, like four or five tears fall from my eyes, dramatically sliding down Not on my, my book. cheeks. <laughs> and no, the book was like out here. Okay. I hold it here. I don't read like this. <laughs> this book was effing amazing. Mm -hmm. It's as soon as I finished it, it went immediately onto my favorites list. I have read all of John Green's other books, but this one is by far my favorite, my second being Paper Towns, in case you were curious. I really liked the prose in this book. Obviously a little advanced in terms of how most teenagers that age talk. Yes. They were extremely witty, which was great because witty, sarcastic characters are awesome, and they made such a good situation out of something that was so horrible. Having cancer obviously is hard for anybody, but extremely hard when you're a child and you haven't been able to live out your life yet. So having, so yeah, Hazel's, <laughs> yeah, having Hazel's, you know, following Hazel and having her sort of comment on things and then Augustus and her together, they were like the perfect pair. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're totally wonderful. And when, yeah, when they were in Netherlands together and whatnot, I mean, oh, break my heart. Because he knew oh. and he didn't tell her. And then, yeah, that was the first time I almost cried was oh. when he told her. That was when I had tears in my eyes and I was like, no, I can't cry. I must remain strong. We're just going to take a second here to appreciate the character that is Augustus, Augustus Waters. Waters. Um, all hail him because he is... <laughs> Is so sexy. Oh my perfect. god. And dead. <laughs> and dead and not real to begin with, but still. And I actually dead. texted you when and I was did. reading the book and I was like, Augustus, Augustus is, is sexy. To which I said, I told you so. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my god. <sighs> <It's> just <sighs> I read part of this book beforehand and then um like earlier this week, I read about 260 pages in one day. I just picked it up and just kept reading because so I knew I needed to finish it. I was right last time. It does say his every syllable flirted. That's Leslie's favorite line. It's my favorite line of the first chapter. Mm -hmm. Of the first chapter. I mean, there are other more awesome lines in there too, but mm -hmm. that one's pretty enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Also, just shout out to Isaac. He's a really cool character he is a really too. Cool character. And you feel badly for him. I mean, he's nowhere near the oh, of Augustus, but. He's, I, he, he deserves he to deserves have some, some recognition, recognition in this video Definitely. because he's also a really good character yeah. and like a really good person. Five out of five blazing stars for this one, like shooting stars into the night kind of thing. And oh my god, John Green is just one of the most brilliant human beings ever to grace this modern age. <laughs> Exactly. All what that. did you, did you have any issues with it other than the fact that teenagers don't actually talk like that? Sadly, I wish it had been longer. Yeah. Really, I mean, yeah. there wasn't a lot of issue I had with it. It was it was a very brilliantly written story. It was extremely touching. I mean, when I opened the book and I saw do Esther Earl because I know I know oh. that story. And that was just like. <sighs> and I hadn't even started the book yet. I mean, <laughs> yeah, favorite favorite book concerning cancer, The Faults in Our Stars. Favorite movie concerning cancer is 50-50. If you haven't seen that movie, you should watch it because it's also extremely witty and there's a really good ma matchup in terms of relationship. So I think maybe if you were really into The Fault in Our Stars, you should watch 50-50. Just, you know, doing a little promotion here. It's got Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it. Mm -hmm. We can do the official hand back. Okay. Okay, the official, oh. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> Don't touch my book. <laughs> and our discussion is finito. Closed. That's stupid. Can we do that? Pray hands. Can we do that together? Pray hands. Closed. <laughs> Can we do that together? Closed. <laughs> So if you guys have anything you want to say about these books, definitely leave them in the comments. Many people have read this, so there's a lot of thoughts floating around. And although these books have been out for, you know, half a year now. Then, wow. <laughs> yeah. And wow. even longer for this one. Um, people, you know, are still picking them up every day because they see videos like this. And uh, we'll do another one like, you know, with us together. Can't promise it'll be a switcheroo discussion. Can't but, promise anything. No. But, but we'll the, be back. Yeah, we'll be back together at some point. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye, we love you. Bye.